What's the deal, you guys? Zay with Exotic Ed here, coming at you guys with another catch and cook. Excuse my niece in the background. She will be making vicarious noises allotted through the whole video. But, uh, so, as you guys have, can tell by the caption, of course, this is the flounder catch and cook. Now, this is the part two of the part, uh, the two-part series of uh, the, we fried it at first, and now we're going to go ahead and bake it, man. We're going to stuff it and bake it. So, um, I am here beforehand making the intro, but also giving you guys a little bit of, uh, the, of, of insight of how we're going to go ahead and uh, make it all go down. So, we have our pan, which I'll grab in a little bit. Our main ingredients is our mild dirty rice or boudin mix right there. That's from my local food right market. That's what we call it. We have our, before his head was cut off, 14 inch flounder for sure. He was just legal. He is descaled. For sure, head cut off, all intestines taken out. We're gonna grill him. He was caught in Galveston. This lemon right here stole it out of somebody's yard. That was uh, harvested in Galveston also. We have some Old Bay seasoning. Uh, in this cup here, I brought it from home because I'm at my buddy's house doing it up. And um, so in this little cup, we have chopped onions, Tony Saturated Creole seasoning, garlic and herb powder. You can't really tell too, too much. We have Tony Saturate seasoning, garlic and herb powder, um, onion powder, uh, garlic and herb seasoning, um, lots of butter. So the whole basis for this whole dish is a oven baked stuffed flounder and the whole theme of it of course is uh, the garlic butter taste. Uh, it's going to come out awesome you guys so stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and throw those clips in there of us actually catching the fish. Um, if you guys have already seen me you on know, my first flounder run video, you guys have seen him get caught for sure. We just got him, you know, in the sink right now, ready to be cooked up. So, um, yeah, we're going to throw those clips in there, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Go ahead and leave a like on this video, you guys, if you haven't already. Go ahead and join the Exotic Head fam if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and bake this, uh, this fish for you guys, man. And you guys stay tuned. Oh, yeah, baby. Damn it, man. I could have had it on camera for you guys, but somebody was calling me. So uh, let me go find my buddy and I'll get right, right back with him. Yeah. Taking out all those innards and chop the head off. It's a little gory. Get out all those innards. See that right there? You want to pop that. Alright, so I'm cutting these lemons right now. Like I said, these are literally Galveston lemons fresh out of somebody's yard. Um, about three of them I'm going to go ahead and uh, do for like literally straight looks to just set on top for presentation. And uh, I mean, even even then, it's still going to be um, definitely for a purpose. It's going to season it pretty well. What I'm going to do right now, too, right quick for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and score my fish. This will allow for those extra flavors, seasonings, and whatnot, and juices to go ahead and seep into the fish. We're going to go ahead and score him. About two more times. completely scored flounder right there you guys all right you guys so we've taken about two tablespoons of butter uh, we've placed it in our pan and maybe a little small but it's definitely gonna do the job uh, chopped dried onions I love to use those when I'm when I'm baking stuff because those dried onions eventually when you're baking stuff those juices come back and uh, it come back it comes back to hunt those onions and those hunt onions end up uh, getting real moist I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle just douse some of this uh, lemon juice in the little seasoning mix Old Bay is based at the bottom too with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil for just a little extra moisture for the trash uh, like I said my my uh, dirty rice mix is from my local market I have my fish cleaned out Go ahead and open up the cavity just a tad more to go in ahead and allow for some stuffing to go on. Just both sides along that spinal. You want to get in there and 
get that you can if not you know you you, you basically kind of have a general idea of a, a rule of thumb of how, how you want to stuff them and where you want it uh to be sitting at but we're just going to open this cavity up a little bit make sure you clean out that bloodline also too you don't want that yucky rancid taste going on in your mouth and then we're gonna take some of our boudin. We're just gonna stuff them accordingly. But we're gonna waste a little bit. That's guaranteed. And uh, also, too, the key to it uh, on the actual baking sheet, you wanna put some of that boudin in there also, too. Just as a uh, kind of like to to you know go as a base for to sit around that uh that flounder and soak up a lot of that juice that that flounder is going to make and all that butter so um stuff flounder you guys i'm gonna go ahead and lay him in here just like so and then we're gonna go ahead and dress him up and get him ready so you guys stay tuned all right i forgot to add in there you guys Please make sure you preheat your oven for sure. Uh, I've had a couple of beers, so I'm so ready to eat this. You can't tell me this isn't a $75 plate if you order it, you know, from uh, your four-star restaurant. So you see a lot of butter in there. We got a lot of garlic uh, and herb seasoning going on in there for sure. I didn't use all the seasoning when we preheat it. We're gonna set this in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. And then we'll get back with you guys. Exotic at a mile. Excuse the noise, you guys, but check that out. Oh my gosh. Let's pull it out and let's go ahead and have a bite, you guys. So, sorry for the noise, you guys, but here's how we're looking. That's the tail end. Just go ahead and break into that. Look at that. I don't even care for skin, you guys. Let's try it. Boy, boy, boy. I hate fish skin, but I like this fish skin. Watch for the little bones. Definitely want to watch for the pin bones. But for the most part, white meat, skin on, seasoned to perfection, you guys. It was really good. <clears throat> Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys right here. A boneless, let me see. A boneless cut right here. Let me get a focus in on that. Look at that. No bone in that. Oh my gosh. It's insane, you guys. It's really good. A little bit of boudin on there. Really, really good. A little bit of that tail meat. So, um, well, that no, look at that steam coming from that. Look the skin on. I don't even like fish skin. A lot of bones. A lot of bones. A lot of bones right there. Somebody like me, I don't care for bones at all. But um, I'm gonna share this with my buddies, you guys. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Go ahead, leave a thumbs up. It's freaking awesome. Garlic butter, baked flounder. Show you guys what we're getting. Boom, our final products. 
I mean, dude, it's awesome, you guys. I advise you guys to try it, man. If you guys like this, man, leave a thumbs up, man. Exotic Ed, I'm out, you guys.